Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. Uh, so last night we had some storms come through the area. And that got me thinking about sharing information on how to handle inclement weather when you're living in an RV. Uh, now this is not something that I thought about of pretty uh, until we started living in the RV and I quickly realized that we no longer live in our brick home and especially did not have our storm shelter. So we live in the currently in the uh, in tornado alley if you want to call it that. Um, and uh, so tornadoes are something that has always freaked me out. So we've gone through several tornadoes. None have ever hit our house directly, uh, but have come very close. So that is just something that has always kind of freaked me out and you know once I realized that I was living in a structure that is basically you know a little paper sack when it comes to a tornado uh, I, I really got very concerned with uh, the weather. So I wanted to share with you some of the apps that I use and how I track the weather. Uh, maybe a little more... Um, I'm a little more obsessed than maybe most people, um, but uh, I thought I'd share it with you anyways. And if if avoiding extreme weather is something that uh, is a concern to you, then I will show you how I do it. All right, so with these beautiful uh, cumulonimbus clouds behind me, I'm gonna try and show you which apps I like to use. Um, <clears throat> so I have four apps right here and I'm going to start off with my least favorite app, which is this NOAA Weather Radar. I paid $20 for this app because I thought it was going to be way better than it was. And I was like, you know, we're going to be driving and I want to make sure that we're safe and I have the best up to date uh, weather and everything. And I don't I don't know why it's 20 bucks. It, it really it wasn't worth it. Um, it's a good app, but it's nothing. It's not any better than like um, Weatherbug, which is uh, the other app that I have. So we'll start with Weatherbug. That is a very good overall app to kind of get an idea of what's coming. I like to use that app in the mornings and just kind of see what uh, it's gonna show me for the day and just kind of scroll through and see what, what um, the weather has. So this is a really good app. Um, it gives you the 10 day forecast, maps, weather warnings, you can set your locations. And as you can see right here, we got some weather coming in. So um, these clouds right here that you can see south of Elmo and Wills Point is all of that right there. Um, it's it's gonna rain a little bit. It's uh, not a really bad thunderstorm, but um, it actually has very little lightning. Uh, south of us, there's another thunderstorm with a ton of lightning, uh, but uh, this one, not so much, which is nice, which is why I'm out here. Tornado, which is an app from the um, Red Cross, is a very good app, and I like that because it's it's mostly built around alerts. So you, you set the area where you are, and then um, if there is a weather warning in that area, it lets you know. But what's cool is that you can see that I have Eden and Nicole there, is that it will also notify them if I am in that area or if they are in the area notifies me that there's a weather warning in that area. So I thought that was really cool just in case, you know, you happen to get, you're separated, somebody goes out for a day trip, for, you know, an hour or two away and somebody stays back at the RV park and something, some crazy weather starts coming in. It's a nice way to know that uh, that is on the way there. Um, and then my f absolute favorite app is radar scope uh, radar scope is not free it's a ten dollar app you can't share it so like if you buy it on your iphone you can't use it on your macbook you have to buy it on each individual one this is an awesome app 
and it's used by storm trackers because it gives you so much information. And after you pay the $10, you can pay an additional $10 a year um, for some additional features, which I have. And then there's another pro, uh, that's, that's called the pro uh, tier one. And there's a tier two that I don't have because I don't think I needed it. To use this app requires, um, there's a little bit of a learning curve to really get good at it and um, kind of understand what the weather is doing. And I've kind of recently become obsessed with understanding weather and understanding clouds. Um, so I spent quite a few hours learning about the weather and understanding it. So I like to use this app a lot. Um, and so you can see where I am right there. And we have, uh, looks like two different cells coming at us. Uh, one is gonna be close to us around 7.57, it's seven o'clock right now. But this bigger one um, is gonna be right at us at eight o'clock. So this one's moving a little faster. So once you, if you upgrade, you can get something that's called the split pane. And then you can also not only study the radar readouts which are at the top but you can also study wind velocity and that's really the key to understanding how if the storm is getting close to becoming tornadic and, and uh, stuff like that so if you care about under about learning that much about the weather and reading uh, radar signatures then I would highly recommend radar scope um, Otherwise, I think you're probably good with Weatherbug, which is free, and uh, the Tornado app, which is free by the Red Cross. Um, yeah, so that pretty much does it. Um, if, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Radar Scope, I will make a video about that, but it really is pretty intensive uh, in the split screen. So these are all the different types of views that I can see, that I can look at uh, from Radar Scope. Um, as the radars are shooting out and then there's different tilts which the tilts refers to the um, height of the actual radar signal that is shooting out into the atmosphere and then if I were to swap over to what's called super res velocity um, and then I can go to the inspector and I can see that the winds here are 17 18 miles in some places so not a crazy storm that's how I like to track the weather uh, when we're traveling the RV. Um, I do it obsessively. I, I am super freaked out by things that I can't control, like uh, the weather and especially tornadoes. I'm not afraid of thunderstorms, but tornadoes uh, freak me out a little bit. So I, I use these apps um, every day. And if there's a storm coming in, I look for, especially with radar scope, there's, there's things that I look for to see if there are indications of a possible tornadic signature. Um, if there isn't, then I'm good and I don't have to worry. And if there is, then um, I start tracking that storm and seeing if, if it's something that we have to move somewhere and kind of get out of the path of the storm. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And um, if you want to learn a little bit more about radar scope, I'm still kind of new at it. I'm still learning about it. Uh, but I like if you don't if you want to know more, I'd happy to share what I know. Otherwise, there are some videos on radar scope already out on YouTube. And uh, I will see you guys at the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.